We're out in the newsroom right now because this week Phoenix Baptist is cutting the ribbon on the hospital's new expanded neuroscience uh, center. Yeah, this is a big deal. So that prompted us, of course, to ask questions about the advances in neurosciences. So we brought in the experts here. We have Paul Safi uh, Safir? Sapphire. Sapphire, I apologize. A neurosurgeon and Joy Dillon, a stroke certified registered nurse. First of all, thank you both for being here this early in the morning. Yeah. Talk to us about some of the things that we're seeing as far as advancements in neuroscience. Uh, well, technology is always moving. Uh, in the past, you know, five to seven years, we've taken great strides forward. And uh, as recently as a couple of years ago, we, uh, we've had new technology developed that allows us to more safely, effectively, and thoroughly treat some of these patients that are having life-threatening and quality of life-threatening strokes. Wow. Uh, Joy Dilly, Joy, I want to turn our focus to you just uh, sure. briefly here. What are some of the symptoms that our viewers need to know right now about a stroke? The most important acronym that we teach our patients mm -hmm. is to know what FAST means. Okay. So FAST is for facial droop, um, A for arm weakness or numbness, uh, S for speech difficulty, and right then it's time to call 911. So if we can get the takeaway of that, but there could be dizziness, sudden confusion, loss of coordination. Basically when something's off, we want these patients immediately to call 911. We do have a short window of time to mm -hmm. give them life-saving medication um, and then Dr. Sapphire here um, has an extended window where he can actually um, go into the brain and remove a clot wow. um, that okay. has been just life-changing for our program. This is so critical. And, and can you explain, Dr. Sapphire, what we're seeing here, my yep. friend? Sure. So uh, the picture here on the left side uh, first shows that the carotid artery, which is the main artery in the neck, right. leads up towards the brain, is, is completely blocked. Wow. And then after going in and doing the procedures, we're actually able to remove the blood clot, which was located somewhere here. Now you have complete blood flow to that part That's of the brain. That's amazing. That and the patient really went from incredible. paralyzed to completely normal within and a matter of moments. this is with your new technology. Absolutely. Wow. This picture shows, shows something fairly similar. Again, inside the brain, there, the main blood vessel has an acute blockage right yeah. here. You can see there's no blood flow. And then okay. after we were able to go in and remove that clot wow. physically, we have complete blood flowing as a person. So a heck of an investment by Phoenix, Phoenix Baptist. Yeah. Really quickly, I know that we're running short on time. Sure. I want to make sure everybody knows, don't be afraid to, uh, or don't think that you're going to be a hypochondriac. Absolutely. Actually, that's one of the biggest things. People know the warning signs for heart attacks, for a lot of other things, but for strokes, they don't seem to, to, to really kind of hone in as much. So if you think you're having a stroke or if your loved one thinks that that you're having a stroke, really, 911 and get yourself to the emergency room. Great, thanks, thank Phoenix. Thank you guys so much doing Dr. Sapphire and Joy Dilly, thank you so thank very you. much for your insight. Yes. Thank you. You can save a life just by looking yeah. at some of the warning signs we talked about this morning. You're watching ABC 15 Mornings. We'll be right back.